Let's look on how to upload files on server. Let's go to our terminal. Let's go to our website folder. For that cd space slash vr slash www. Now type ls to see all folders. You can see one html folder here. Now clear all this. To upload files let's create a folder. Type sudo mkdir and a folder name. Type ls to check folder created. Now let's check the permissions. Type ls space hyphen all. You see the permission is root. To access outside server you need permission. To give permissions. Type. Sudo. Chown. Space hyphen capital R. Space dollar user. Colon. Dollar user. Space file name. Now type ls space hyphen all. Now look the permission changed. Now let's go with FileZilla software. Before using FileZilla, you must know one thing that port 22 must be open. For that let's go to instance tab. Then go to three dots. Click manage. Go to networking tab. Check SSH port number 22 is open or not. If you don't know how to open ports you can check with firewall video. Now let's go to connect tab. You have to copy this IP. And this is your username to access. Now go to FileZilla. Click this button. Select protocol SFTP. Paste your IP. Log on type key file. User Ubuntu. You have to use the key which you have downloaded when creating the server. It will be in PEM extension. Now click connect. Now give permission click OK. Now let's wait. It is connecting. Now it is connected. Right side shows you server data. And left side shows your system data. Now let's go to website folder. Now let's go to our system folder where we have created our website to upload. Now you just have to copy all these files to the server. Or you can just drag and drop. Now here you can see how many data transferred or any failed. Let's wait until the complete files get transferred. Now it is going to end.
All are successful no failed. Now let's check in our Amazon server. Let's check it has completely copied all data. Let's close and start a fresh terminal. Let's clear this. Now type sudo. Su. Now type cd slash vor. Slash www. Let's check the folder type ls. Now let's see the folder content. Type cd file name. Now type ls. Now you can see the copied all contents. Now we have to activate our website. For that type cd slash etc slash apache 2 slash sites hyphen available type ls here you can see a default file you have to create a file same as default file now type cp default file name and your website file name with conf Now you have to edit your website file. Type nano your newly created file name. Here you have to edit the server admin detail. Type server name and add your URL name. Type server alias and add your URL name with www. Now path the document root to your folder. Now after that control X. Type Y. And now enter to overwrite the file. Now clear this. Now to you have to enable the site. For that type A2 EN site. And your CONF file name. It worked properly. Now you have to disable other enabled sites. For that, type a to disk site. Old CONF file name. Now after enable and disable, you have to restart the server. Type systemctl space reload space apache2. Now everything is complete. Let's check. Copy this IP. Paste it in new tab. Here you can see our website is working. For any problem comment below.